Hey everyone, Zach here. And as you may or may not figure from the hat, I've got a TV premiere to talk about. Like many, many other people around the world, I was rather saddened to see first Carrie Byron, Tori Belechi, and Grant Imahara's departure from Mythbusters in 2014, and then Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman leaving the, the show in 2016. I was also cautious when news broke about a competition series to select new hosts, take the series in somewhat new direction, but as commercials stirred up and I was watching this, the short series, I enjoyed it a lot. I thought their selection process was, was quite sensible. And while when it came to sort of a possible duo, I was thinking more about Inventor Alan Pan and engineer Tamara Robertson. I thought the finale choosing let's see, their jobs. Product designer John Lung and biologist and builder Brian Loudon were good calls. They did well on the competition. They have good like TV-friendly personalities. And with that, and news going around, and updates about the return of the show, I was looking forward to it, even with it obviously expected to be different to some extent. And apparently, I guess, for this first new season at least, episodes will be available one week early on the Science Channel app. But for the rest of us, just waiting for it to be on TV. It premiered just last night. So I'm going to... Can I give my thoughts on this first episode, where the series is looking to go? Without spoilers, I'm not going to provide the conclusions on any of the myths tested out. <coughs> but these first ones that they tackle are figuring out if a person resting their feet on the dashboard of a car. If during a collision and the airbag goes off. If that could cause potentially life-threatening injuries. And the other is testing delayed causality with a sword to the, to the head. The idea that a slice so quick and clean can keep the head upright for at least a few seconds before it falls. But pretty much right out of the gate, it's very much like the series has been for a long time. Methodology is pretty much exactly the same. Pitching the myth, doing sort of small scale in headquarters tests, making builds, testing the physics of things, taking it out of the shop, going off site. 
analyzing the results on high quality and high speed cameras. You know, doing some comedic back and forths along the way, showing a good degree of fun to the experiments. Also with the format, the voiceover guy, Robert Lee, at least for the United States version, is still on. And there's still like little comparison animations to complement them. I'm not sure if it's the same person, but it's still presented in much the same way as it always has been. John and Brian's personalities work well together. They have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of intelligence. Admittedly, right now at least with these two, while there may be some other cast members brought on as this new version of the show moves forward, since they're both very fun, there isn't really a Jamie of the group. There's no one dry and blunt about things. But it's still enjoyable. The format is kind of continuing from the final two seasons with Adam and Jamie. New opening. Two guys figuring out, you know, along the way, different vehicular scenarios, weapons, explosions, chemical reactions. Stuff from TV and movies. Also, while there were occasional dog appearances, I think thanks to Jamie and Carrie being dog people, this version of the series might have a recurring, like, cute animal element with Brian's dog, Bo. Around for quite a bit of the testing, at least in the background. So yeah. <laughs> Been a fan of Mythbusters for a long time, and while I wasn't certain for a time, after that era of the show ended. I was optimistic and I have accepted the change that has come with first the departures of the original group, now the introduction of this new duo. So I give it a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to see where things go next. See you later, folks.